There it goes. Welcome back. <laughs> we had a little technical difficulties as well. So this is part two of Queer Conversations on Virgin TV. I'm your host, G. Our guest today is Emily Cohen of SunServe, Women's Services and Ignite South Florida. We uh, spoke a little bit about what's happening tomorrow in Wilton Manors, Florida, which is V-Day, Vagina Monologues, produced yeah, by yeah. SunServe, The Art Woman, and Nikki Lopez Creative. And we talked a little bit about SunServe and the work it's doing in the community, right. which is wonderful work. Yes. Um, so and then another thing, yeah, you're busy. You're like you're like I me because I have very good TV. I have There's so much happening. Yeah, it's so a lot. So the other thing that's going on with SunServe, and this is, um, I mean, just what I do, um, is we recently uh, started this women's services program. Okay. Right? So like I said, we have the youth department, we have the um, senior daycare, um, we have a large mental health department. So. Um, sliding scale, very affordable uh, mental <laughs> health important. services for people, which is really, really important. And we have um, transgender services department. We have um, uh, services, case management for people who are living with HIV and AIDS. Wow. And then, why I'm here, I guess, yeah. um, is that we have a, a department for women now. So Wonderful. we have the women's services department, which we've never had before. Okay, when did that start? That started July 1st. Okay, and then you reached out to me. That's right, wow. yeah. Yes, I reached yes. out to you actually right away because I, I knew that our woman that our woman was so successful and had yes. so many women um, right. yes. coming out and, and participating and being involved and we wanted to make sure that women in the community knew that the resources were available. Thank you. I'm glad you came on board. Yeah, me too. Um, yeah, and for those who don't know, uh, the art woman is a LGBTQ woman and allies open mic evening and the next one is coming up March 10th and SunServe jumped on board as one of our uh, co-sponsors yes. and yeah because it's pretty much the same community right yeah you're serving absolutely so one is like the art woman is like entertainment you can come and do poetry or song or dance um, and uh, any kind of uh, performing arts visual arts and you know then you're helping the same people right. in different parts of our lives right? absolutely. So it's like a nice holistic approach right? yeah wrap yeah. around that's what we yeah. do at SunServe and that's nice. the cool thing is that we want to be able to provide those services for women in the community um, the big Part of what we do within that, my department is that we are helping with healthcare navigation, okay, which good. in it's so challenging now with insurance challenges and everything. It's an and issue. It's really hard. It's an issue, and the problem is that women in our community, LGBTQ women, have some of the highest rates of cancer and mm. other health disparities because um, we're just we're we're not necessarily going for the preventative care that we need. Right. And so part of what I'm doing is helping women find doctors um, and providers that are competent that right. aren't going to ask. Why don't yeah. you on birth pro control for right, the right. time? Right? I know. <laughs> are you on birth control now? Right. <laughs> Nope, no, still I'm not on birth no, control. I'm a lesbian. <laughs> still don't need yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, so that's good. And then some women who are masculine by myself, like myself, might not want to go to like traditional OBGYN. Exactly. Something's a little different. And know? that's actually something that has come up a lot in the community is women who are more masculine presenting um, don't want to go to the OBGYN because they're embarrassed or because nobody's really treating them with respect. Mm -hmm. um, and so one of the things that we've done is help to find doctors who already have that experience Great. and we know are going to be competent and also say, hey, if you need someone to go with you, if you need somebody who can kind of accompany you and then you don't feel like you're you know, in the waiting room and feeling like something's going on or they're not respecting you or whatever the case may be, um, we can do that. So we really just want to be a resource to the community so that women can take care of themselves. So do you have a list of doctors at this point? Yeah, we oh, have. That's good. That's important. Yeah, we have a list of doctors at this point. Yeah. And then also what's really cool is that the Pride Center has the LBT um, Women's Health Directory. So okay, good. we also kind of coordinate with that. Wonderful. And we can use a shout lot out of those to the Pride Center. Well. Yeah. Yes, yes. And let me shout out also, um, I have the paper here, South Florida Gay News. <laughs> Um, this is the first time Dora Woman actually ever advertised in the newspaper. Oh, that's so cool. Um, yes, and with the help of the our, 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 our fund grant that they encouraged that's us to do this. Awesome. So here's the in the newspaper. I was like, yay. And I know that's they handed so cool. out hundreds of maybe, yeah, hundreds of these. At, did mm -hmm. you go to Pride on Sunday? I did. Yeah, how was Pride on oh, Sunday? Oh, Pride was so good. Yeah. We had so much fun. Great. We had so much fun. So this is the first year that we had a trans pride within I saw pride. That. I saw yeah. like a lot of, yeah. And we participated heavily, um, our trans department, and it, okay, it was good. awesome. The, the whole day was just incredible. Yeah, shout out to Pride for a lot of yeah. that. I know the whole team, shout out, Nat Natalie Tyler was here the other day, and she's executive director of Pride for a lot of that, and she was working really hard, and their whole team was incredible. We went out to, yeah, we'd like some questions. Um, 
Yeah. What is, it? is there time for questions? What else does SunServe do? Yeah. I think she answered a lot. You want more, David? <laughs> <laughs> what else but, do we do? Right. So, but, um, but good point. Let's encourage people to ask questions. You know, great to have any comments, um, but anything. Also, share this. And um, what about if people want to know more? You put the links, Nikki, if people want to know more about V-Day. I could put them back on the oh, Okay, okay. second one. And you can put Dara Woman for people who want to get tickets. Get your tickets now for Dara Woman. It's March yes. 10th. If you want to perform also, open mic, um, there is an open mic form. Mm -hmm. So you can sign up there as well. And so thank you, Nikki. She's going to be putting the links for V Day for people to get tickets. We talked about that, that we've sold more tickets than there are seats. Oh my gosh. So yeah. come on time. That's, That's going to be fun. February 14th. Yep. That is Valentine's Day. First come 50 on. people to arrive get a free drink. Right, good we point. Don't want to yeah, yeah. That. First drink. Right, get one free drink for the first fifty. Mm -hmm. um, six o'clock, starting off with a uh, um, card show curated by Nikki Lopez, within the folds. Yes. So, yeah, very provocative. It sounds very good. Exciting. Yeah, so this is gonna be really great. We shout out. We shout out the actors. Everybody's volunteered their time to re rehearse and take time from their. Everybody's so busy, you know. Yeah. Everybody's so busy. Very so busy. Really grateful people take their time to. Um, to, 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 to learn their parts and to perform and so on. Absolutely. So and then you Definitely. so in addition to V Day, we have Dark Woman, we have V Day, then you have also Ignite. Ignite. Because you have nothing else you, Yeah, you because nothing, I have nothing, nothing else to do. to do with my time. Right. You created um, something else. So I created something else. So here's something that's really interesting to me and, and as Sunserve as a social services agency, we do a lot of mental health stuff and case management. Um, and then one thing that I kept hearing in the community was twofold. From one side, people were saying that women don't really come out to things. We don't mm -hmm. really go anywhere. We don't really yeah. do anything. Um, and I mean, that may be partially true. But I think that it's interesting because then when I would talk to queer women in the community, they would say, well, we do, but we just don't know where to go. Right. We don't know what's happening. Mm -hmm. um, and getting women to get involved in things is very different than getting men to get involved mm -hmm. in things. It's just the way that it is. Right. So we... I, we just kind of wanted to find a way to connect with women in the community. Okay, so Ignite is something then that is completely separate, and it's hopefully something that's going to give women an opportunity to Great. be somewhere. Great, and this is every, you're going to do this every month? Yeah, so the concept of Ignite, of Ignite as a whole um, is that it is a place, social media, in the community, um, all over the place, where women can find social connections and community engagement. Um, and so the way that we have kind of kicked it off is by having a mixer. Nice. Um, the first Thursday of every month at G Spot in Wilton Manors. Mm -hmm. um, Shout out to Lisette. Thank you. Yes. For, Thank you, know, you so much. We got a space much. for V Day. We got a space for Ignite. So that's great. They have been amazing in supporting the women in the community. Um, and I know that that is um, one of Lisette's missions is that there is plenty of community engagement for women in the community because we need a space and we right. need a home. Um, and so this mixer is meant to have to, to create that space for women to come together. And then we want to talk to you all about what you want. What are you right. looking what's for? Important what's people. important to you? Um, right. So the cool thing is that we are going to be doing now a second mixer that will be a tech night. Okay, so cool. for right. um, women, LBTQ women who are interested in the nerdy stuff. Okay, cool. So yeah. we want to be able to expand into providing women with um, spaces. Call it a queer meetup, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. That's the idea. Nice. Um, so that we can give a place to women, um, you know, to be able to be involved and, and to be able to um, find those social connections, you know. It's nice to be able to sit home and do nothing. Right. But then when you want to go somewhere, you it's good to know yeah, that the option is there and what to do. So, um, so Ignite, this is also... <laughs> so that's March 1st, right? Uh, March 1st is the next, the next mixer. Yep. I didn't and get my to birthday make... is a couple days oh, later, so, so everybody should come out and party. So the March one is this extra special one yes. it's his birthday, yes. Emily. Um, I know I missed the first one. I was, I think I was going to travel the next day, mm -hmm. but I heard it was a great success. It was fantastic. So we come had so on many back and tell your friends. Right? Absolutely. So it's just going to be good. And people just mix and mingle and chill yeah. and so on. Just hang out. Totally informal. Um, it's a great place to hang out. 
And uh, last time we had um, Maury there doing mm -hmm. henna. Oh, nice. I didn't hear that part. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That so that great. was awesome. And we want to be able to support local artists. So okay, if you nice. are a local artist or you know somebody who's a local wants artist, to do something uh, yeah, who wants to come out and do some art or something like that, we would love to have you involved. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So every so how do people learn more about Ignite? That's also... So Ignite, Facebook? yeah, Ignite on Facebook is facebook.com uh, Ignite Women SFL. And on Instagram, it's the same, Ignite Women okay, Ignite SFL. S S S F L F L like South Florida. South Florida. So Ignite Women South Florida. SFL. Okay, good, yeah. good, good. Yep. Yeah. And they can get in touch with us and ask any questions and we can't wait. Yeah, any questions from anybody in the audience? Ask us some questions. Any questions from anybody? Any anybody. Anyone. Anybody. Anybody out there. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. What do you want to go over the coming out story since it was on the Oh, first okay. Time? We talked a little bit about how much time do we have? I don't have no idea of the time either. Well, remember, we, were, we delayed a little bit. Before. Five. Okay. So, okay, that's a good suggestion. <laughs> we have, this is our first queer conversations where we have two episodes in one night. Ooh, <laughs> we had a little technical, a difficult, technical difficulty, we'll call it. What did you say? Commercial break? Right? A commercial break. A little commercial break. Yeah. Um, so I'm making history, apparently. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> first time for it's everything. Okay. <laughs> Um, so we talked a little bit about, so you can recap a little bit about your yeah. coming, how you identify and your coming out experience. Right. So I was saying that at this point in my life, um, the identity that I most relate to, um, is queer. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's just really, to me, it, it provides me a space, um, to understand myself better and what I understand about the world, um, and, and what I understand about sexuality and gender. So for me, that title works very well, that label. Okay, um, but it's been a process throughout my entire life. Um, you were saying you're more recent, like four or five years. Yeah, least, yeah. Uh, I've been, I've really been out the last four or five years. Yeah. Um, you know, my my family, um, you know, I, I would say they didn't know, but then again, some of them tell me they did know, and <laughs> right. Maybe I just didn't get the memo. But um, <laughs> well, yeah, there's always some of that where some people are like right. what, and some people are like, of course, no, 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 yeah. we knew that already. It's okay. Right. Um, but you know, the cool thing is that I, I think that the process it hasn't just been a process for me; it's been a process for, for my everybody. family as well. <laughs> um, and I think that it, it is important to remember that that coming out process expands, you know, past the individual coming out mm -hmm. um, into a family mm -hmm. because you know the stigma is there for everyone. So. You know they've been really good about it and very loving and supportive so i'm, I'm lucky i know that not everybody has that right 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 so. and you guys help you help people who are coming out and so on and so absolutely which is great yeah, yeah definitely yeah some people don't know you know how to handle it everybody's gonna be different sure you know some people know at 16 and some people know at 60 or 36 right. or 40 yep. you know we're all different yep. yes you have something else to slow face there <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so tomorrow is going to be crazy, but good crazy yes. at, v, at the, um, the G spot in Wilton Manors, Florida. And um, a lot of good stories in the vagina monologues. Yeah. You know? so, yeah. I would say, um, what's something censor women's uh, group? What do you, what's something that it's, it's not known for? Huh. What is the women's services department yeah. not known for? Like that like kind of a best kept secret type thing? Like what people yeah, don't like, know. People yeah, don't know. People, what do people know? If people are looking for mental health, whatever they may think, oh, let me go to this department. But what is something that people don't generally ask for, but you might, you know. Support? Is there a service that you guys have? That's a good question. Thank I mean, you, honestly, you audience, yeah. And honestly, the, 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 the thing is that um, we provide wraparound services for everybody. And really the idea of wraparound services means that if you come into my office and you need something, you'll have some type of answer before you leave. Mm -hmm. um, and it may not be from me and it may not be from anybody in the vicinity. It may right. be from someone upstairs in our office or another department or some other place that we have to help. So you that's like, resources. I don't know where to live. I need a doctor. Right. Exactly. I need, what about like, um, you think you said doctor, but I was going to say legal services. Someone needs yeah. something legal. Yeah. And that's uh, the thing is that for most of us and, you know, being a social worker, I have kind of resources and connections everywhere that's and that's great. really kind of part of the course within the organization is that everybody knows somebody who can do something for someone right, um, and, and and I think a lot of people just think that what we do is mental health and we do everything so if you need us if you need something anything you just show up and we'll help you find it it may not be in our office food but 
Food, yeah, sure. Food, yeah. yeah. We can we can point you in the right direction rent, to rent, getting food. Rent. We can try to point you in the right direction, man. Dating, <laughs> finding a partner. Yeah, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Go to sure. Ignite. <laughs> Go to Ignite. <laughs> yeah, Come anything. find a friend. But yeah, I mean, and that's the other thing is that, you know, that's an interesting thing, best kept secret. We want to be able to connect people um, you know, in the community. So one of the cool things that we're doing is we have a, a men's mixer. Okay. Um, and it's, um, oh, don't quote me on this. I think it's the third Saturday of the month, but okay. I might be wrong on the date. So Go look the, at our website, sunsurf.org. Sunsurf. Right. Um, but the men's mixer is a media-free men's mixer. Mm. Um, one of the staff members within the agency came up with it that, you know, a lot of men were saying they wanted to find a place where they could meet somebody that didn't include grinder or people on their phones uh, and so we've been having a huge do they crowd. take away their phones during the event no. we just ask people to turn off the phones and put them away oh, nice. i don't know if they're I confiscated love i love that i love that <laughs> but it's, like a, it's yeah. in media free mixer so i mean if you're trying to the best kept secret in oh, sunsurf you that's know a those good one. are some of the things that we do so that we can help people in the community because we know that partnerships and relationships are important to people right. especially for us um, you know, when it's a little bit harder and, mm -hmm. and there's a little more involved in, in getting, you know, connected with somebody mm -hmm. in the community. So, But I love that idea of like, you know, being so present that you don't, sometimes your places and, you know, all of us are their phones, but sometimes you're trying to communicate and the person's looking at their phone right. or, or they're trying to share something while you're there. You're like, hey, you're like, no, no, I'm, I'm posting yeah. this picture right now. I'm like, oh, I was just going to say hello right to the there. conversation. I just wanted to you. share with everybody else who's not here. I'm right. not, you know, so I think it's exactly. good that we need to do some more of that, you know, like be more present in the moment. Yes. David Nick, said uh, when he was doing his master's degree in social work, he interned at SunServe. Oh, oh, nice. Small world. When was that, David? So David is saying he interned at SunServe. When was that, Dave? Over a decade. Over a decade ago. <laughs> before I was gay. <laughs> Pre-gay G. Pre-gay. Yeah. So, right. Or, well, openly maybe. Before yeah, right. Openly. Exactly. Yeah, who knows? But yeah, okay. I have a vague, I think he mentioned it to me, you mentioned, David mentioned it to me the other day, and I was like, yeah, I didn't even know what organization did and so on, you know, when I was, before I was open again, I was also very, not in this community at all, you right. know, so I didn't, wasn't aware of a lot of things. No, I was involved in the community so much before wow. I came out, I was, I was an ally forever, oh, I was um, involved nice. in activism and in pride and, and had so many They're friends. They're like, well, you're such a passionate ally. Right, I was wow. such a passionate ally. <laughs> hey. Okay. <laughs> That's Look. probably why people already knew and I didn't. Oh, my. <laughs> you're like, 10 years later, I have something to tell you guys. By the way. <laughs> I've taken my allyship to a whole other level. Yep. Yeah, well, that's Stepped great. Stepped it up a notch. Yeah, well, that's great. So I think we're going to be wrapping up now. Thank you so much. We're good for time, right? To say goodbye. Thank you so much for joining me, Thank you. Emily. Look forward to being um, tomorrow, the vagina monologue yes. tomorrow. Be there. Be, be there. Get your tickets. Don't miss it. Showtime is... Showtime is 7, but come at 6. But come, you at come, six. At, come at 6. So let's just say 6 o'clock. Come six. tomorrow at 6. Um, and... Um, it's going to be a lovely evening. It's probably like 90, maybe 8% women too, right? I mean, everybody's yeah, welcome. I think so. we everybody's everybody's really, welcome, but I think there's going to be a lot of women there. Yeah. So, so. yes. Okay. So, thank, for being. so <laughs> thanks so much for joining. And every Tuesday, 6 p.m. EST. EST. Sounds strange, but yes. EST. <laughs> um, right here at Virgin TV. Please like the page. Please share this video and join us every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Thank you. Bye.